Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure PostgreSQL latest version that is 16 on Alma Linux 9. First verify whether this is Alma Linux or not by running the command more slash etc os hyphen release. See, I am on Alma Linux and its version is 9.2. The process is same for Alma Linux 8 or 9. So open Firefox or any browser from Alma Linux OS then go to PostgreSQL official website that is PostgreSQL.org. See, on 14th September 2023, PostgreSQL 16 released. So click on this download or this download. Either is fine. So click on download, select Linux, then select Red Hat, Rocky Linux or CentOS. Then select version 16 and select the platform. Select the Red Hat Rocky Linux or Oracle Linux 9. Alma Linux is also like Red Hat Enterprise or Rocky or Oracle Linux. So, see, these are the commands to be run to install the PostgreSQL 16 on Alma Linux. So, copy the first command, then go to terminal, paste it, hit enter, provide the password of sudo user. See, it is, it is, see, it is downloading and installing this RPM. It will create the repos in the m dot repos directory it is success now copy the next command that is disable the built in process equal modules so copy it Paste that command, hit enter. Next step is we have to install process equal 16. This command is same sudo dnf install hyphen y process equal 16 hyphen server. Okay. Control L to clear screen sudo dnf or m both are same so m hyphen y install hyphen y then post s equal version 16 if you want to install 15 you have to give 5 if you want to install 14 you have to give 5, 4 so i am going to install latest version that is 16 then give the hyphen server then hit enter See, PostgreSQL server installation is success. Control L to clear screen. Now verify whether PostgreSQL is installed or not by running the status of the PostgreSQL service. sudo systemctl status PostgreSQL hyphen 16. See, service is there and it is dead. And also notice here the service is disabled. First, we will enable this service. Here also it is saying the same. But before that, we are going to initiate the database. So copy that command and paste here. Okay. Now we are going to enable this service. So sudo systemctl enable postgresql hyphen 16. What happens if we enable the service means whenever Linux machine restarts, then no need to start the postgresql server manually automatically starts by enabling this service hit enter see it has created symlink for this service now verify status again see now it is enabled before it was disabled okay now we are going to start this service because still it is dead okay so command is sudo systemctl start then postgresql hyphen 16 let's verify see postgresql service is started it started three seconds ago q took it from this message and these are the background processors for the postgresql server and this is the data directory we can see this data directory and wall files information configuration and files location and configuration file names and log 
directory locations very soon okay now control l now we are going to see how to connect to postgresql server sudo su hyphen postgres then psql psql is the utility or tool to connect to the postgresql server see we have connected to postgresql server now verify the version of postgresql server select version see we have installed postgresql 16 now the first step after connecting to any postgresql server is we have to set the password for the postgres user alter user postgres with password then password in single quotes or double quotes i have successfully set the password now let's see the list of the databases forward slash l is the command which which is called as meta command or under method c we have three databases te postgres template 0 and template 1 and the owner is postgres under method to check the list of the databases is that name from pg underscore database see we got only database information now let's create a database create database create database and database name i am giving database name as arto scores hit enter see we have created a database let's verify again see new database has been created now create a table in this new database for that first we have to switch to this database by using the command slash forward slash c and database name otherwise it will create table in this database so i am switching to auto schools see now see the message you are now connected to database auto school as user postgres okay let's create a table before that verify the list of the tables forward slash and date see at present we don't have any table so create table We have successfully created table let's verify see i have a table now let's insert some data into this table command is insert into then we have to provide the table name table name is students values i'm giving 100 and david see it is typo so select ctrl c from your keyboard now type the same command insert into students values 100 david see we have inserted one row let's verify select is the command to get the data from a table see there is one row okay like this we can create a table and we can insert data next step is we are going to see how to create users in this postgresql server first verify list of the users ctrl l to clear screen slash du use the meta command to find the list of the users see i have only one user that is the super user which comes with the installation of postgresql server so let's create a user create user then username i am giving r2 admin with password give any password let's verify again list of the users see we have two users now this user is able to connect but if you want to restrict user to not to connect to postgresql server then use alter user then username no login now again verify the list of the users see now user cannot login to the postgresql server until we remove this flag so we can remove by using alter user or to admin login now verify again see role gone okay so, like this we can restrict a user to not log into the postgresql server Con control clear screen now find the postgresql data directory by running the command show data underscore directory See, this is the data directory. Now verify the log directory. 
for log underscore direct see this is the log direct now we will have two more files that those are postgresql dot conf file and the hpa underscore conf file postgresql conf is the configuration file for the postgresql server and hpa conf file is the authentication file to allow or deny the access to this postgresql server so conf underscore file it is config sorry see this is the configuration file which which is there in the same directory data directory only. after the next command we will go to this directory and we will verify the list of the files and folders are there in this directory so hpa underscore file see it, it is also there in the same directory we can move this configuration files to another directory that i have already made a video you can go through the channel and you can change the location if you want okay so now exit from this one by using slash and q cd then go to this directory that is data directory copy it and paste ls see we have the postgresql.conf file and hba.conf file and log directory in this base directory it contains all the database directories and this is the wall directory and this file contains postgresql version information let's wait for cat pg underscore version see it contains version information of postgresql server we have installed 16 version the last steps that i'm going to show you how to stop start and restart postgresql server on alma linux so command is sudo systemctl restart is the command to restart the postgresql server The user post doesn't have access, so cancel it by pressing Ctrl C. Exit from this user. Now run the sudo systemctl restart postgres 16. We have successfully restarted. Verify when we have restarted sudo systemctl status postgresql. See, we have restarted 9 seconds ago. Q to quit, Ctrl L. Now stop the PostgreSQL service. sudo systemctl stop PostgreSQL-16. Now verify. See, PostgreSQL service is inactive or dead. We have stopped it 2 seconds ago. Now start it again by replacing the stop with start. Now verify the status. See, we have successfully started PostgreSQL service one second ago. So, in this video, we have seen how to install and configure PostgreSQL server on Alma Linux 9 version. For more PostgreSQL server videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.